course, as you heard from uh, Lucky before the break, Tifa 2 goes in the King George later today with Lizzie Kelly once in the saddle. But the 10 this time around, headed by Amore Alato. Two is Annabel Fly, three Karachi Apache, four Churchtown Champ, five is Might Bite for Nicky Henderson, six Manila Daddy uh, for the Bowens, seven Present Man for Paul Nichols and Jack Sherwood, eight Royal Vacation, nine Virgilio for the Skeletons, ten is the other Nichols runner, Froden with Sam Twiston Davis, the only four year old in the race. Well, let's start off talking about uh, Annabelle Fly in the colours of J.P. McManus with the... Uh... ...into 3-1 to one and his joint 3-1 to one favourite with Frodon, who's also come right in. Mike Bite, 7s into 5, Manila Daddy, 7s into 11 or 2, and up to Simon for the call. And so away they go for the 32 red Cordo Star Novices Chase, and on towards the first, Manila Daddy is on the inside of Mike Bite. Close up is Amore Alato, and the pace looking strong from the outset here in fourth place present man over the first where well, they were flying along at the first royal vacation didn't jump it too quickly and a valley flies held up off the pace in the early stages at the open ditch might fight an amore alato followed by manella daddy and present man and they built a lead of a good six or seven lengths over the others who are headed by Raw Vacation, then Virgilio, and a Valley Fly on the inside of Karachi Apache, followed by Frodon, who's towards the rear of the field, and Churchtown Champ is last of all. So, into the back straight. A fairly frenetic start to this race in which Anna Valley Fly has gone off the three to one favorite just ahead of the Cheltenham winner Frodon at 130 and Amore Alato on the outside of Might Bite in the black and orange hoop sleeves on the near side red cat Manella Daddy disputing third with the nose banded present man then Royal Vacation in Jean Bishop's cue card colors the blue jacket disputing fourth or fifth towards the outside on towards the next Amore Alato just having the advantage there of a might bite in second. Mistake at the back from Churchtown Champ, who landed very awkwardly. Tom Scudamore having to sit tight. Now on to an open ditch. Amore Alato on the outside. Jumps well from Mike Boy and present man was so nearly gone there and Jack Sherwood nearly had his right leg over the wrong side of the saddle but he sat tight and they're still intact as they jump the last in the back straight. Amore Alato out in front who made all the running and jumped well when winning at Sandown on his reappearance and a winner at this meeting over hurdles in the past might bite in second then in third Manella Daddy on the inside of Raw Vacation Karachi Apache is he being pulled up out wide I think he is Karachi Apache is out of the race has been pulled up by Noel Feely maybe something's gone wrong with that horse hopefully not too serious as they run into the home straight now Amore Alato in the blue and pink jacket with Mike White. They're in the air together. Manella Daddy third over on the far side. Then Royal Vacation, present man between runners. Anna Valley fly behind these with Virgilio in blue sleeves, a green jacket. On the wide outside on the right of your picture is Frodon. Anna Valley fly hit that pretty hard there in the hands of Barry Geraghty. Churchtown champ is on the rail towards the back. Onto the fence in front of the stands. And Mike Bright and Amore Alato. Mike Bright out jumping Amore Alato there. Present man and Royal Vacation are fighting it out for third at the moment. Manella, Manella Daddy just hitting a bit of a flat spot behind them. Uh, was shaken up by Sean Bowen. Then Virgilio and Frodon, who goes well. Churchtown champ and Ali Bally Fly, the favourite, is now last of all as they come to the end of what looked to be a very fast first circuit in this 32 red quarto star novices chase named after one of the great horses of all time over jumps five times a winner of the king george the great quarto star on towards the next amore alato and might bite followed by royal vacation as they leave the ground over this plain fence again might bite just a little more efficient than amore alato Raw Vacation third, then Present Man, Manella Daddy on the inside, jumping an open ditch now. And then back in the field is Virgilio, Frodon on the outside. Annie Valley Fly just shaken up again there, trying to go past Churchtown Champ at the rear of the field. So they turn into the back straight, 
and might bite by a half length to Amore Alato and Richard Johnson begins to push away on the horse in second place he looks in trouble then Royal Vacation in third behind them present man Frode on and Sam Twist and Davis the blue and white jacket still traveling kindly from Virgilio then Annie Valley fly trying to get back into the contest now on the outside and improving as they jump the next and might bite lands with the lead once again Annie Valley fly wasn't overly fluent once more Manella daddy very disappointing has dropped out churchtown champ has plenty to do over the next might fight continues to lead the way by three to amore alato and royal vacation paddy brennan in those blue colors into second now on royal vacation running a blinder in blinkers for the first time over the next and might bite with a clear lead from royal vacation throwed on third then present man and amore alato they head on towards the last in the back straight this is four out might bite pops over royal vacation on tidy second they're getting strung out now the pace was very earnest early on and it's beginning to hurt as they run right-handed out of the back straight and it's might bite and daryl jacob who'll be aboard joss's hill in the king george later on leading at leisure from royal vacation second frode on now coming under pressure in third place as they swing the final turn three fences left to jump and might bite this really handsome seven-year-old leads into the straight for trainer nicky henderson here's three out might fight shortens good jump very clean indeed royal vacation second then frode on amore alato and present man on now towards the second last of might bite has surely got this one if he stands up oh he got in a bit close to that one sent some birch flying into the air but he's well well clear of royal vacation and then frode on and might bite beating some good horses here beating them hands down at the last wins a dramatic quarto star novices chase in second virgilio in the end third amore alato present man has completed the course it looks as though frodon might have come to grief at the last as well he's all right uh, mike bites rider daryl jacob is fine and uh, i think the horse is okay as well just trying to see him mike bite who came to that dramatic exit at the final fence Daryl Jacob, he's all right. I'm pretty convinced that Mike Bite, despite that spectacular fall, that heavy fall at the last, when he had the race at his mercy, I think he's all right. But Royal Vacation, Paddy Brennan, an early smile this afternoon. Q Cars rider wins at 33 to 1. For Colin Tizard and Gene Bishop, Paddy Brennan rides a grade one winner at Kempton Park on Boxing Day. Words you might have anticipated in an hour's time. Not now, 33 to 1 Royal Vacation. And that's why Mike Bite, with the race at his mercy, did not take off at the final obstacle. And for all the fall was spectacular. He cantered away, and Daryl Jacob got up. And just out of the way of Frodon and Sam Twist and Davis. Also got up, both horse and rider. Take it from another angle. Mick Fitzgerald, talk us through it. Oh, the great thing is that both horse and jockey have got up. But here you can see what's happened. Daryl has gone to the second last and he's short. He's let the horse go short and then he's thought, right, I can't do that here. I'm going to get this horse going forward, get the momentum going. And he's really committed at the last. The problem is the stride is too long. There's not really a stride there and the problem is every time you have a fall you always think I should have done something different and Daryl Jacob will think exactly that when he comes back in. Might by conspicuous talent and unfortunate loser today the fortuitous